124,000 people, they accepted Islam at the hands of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In 23 years. Yeah. Another question. From these 124,000 Sahabi Karam, how many are resting? Now, we heard the importance and the benefits of passing away in Medina to Munawwara. Every Sahabi had this zeal, this wish of not only passing away in Medina to Munawwara, rather to pass away as a shaheed in Medina to Munawwara. From these 124,000 Sahabi Kiram, how many are buried in Jannatul Baqi in Medina to Munawwara? How many? You all know this? How many? 10,000. 10,000 in comparison to 124,000 comes to roughly 8%. I did the calculations, by the way. Okay, let's say around 10%. 10% of the Sahabi Kiram, they are resting in Jannatul Baqi. What about the rest of 90%? Let's say 85%. Where are the rest of 100,000 Sahabi Kiram? Why did they not, did not stay in Medina to Munawara? Why did they not die in Medina to Munawara? Why are they not buried in Jannatul Baqi? It is in relation to today's topic. Because every Sahabi became a da'i. He, be, he became a preacher, a teacher, a guide to Islam. And the Prophet ﷺ has mentioned, Ashabi kan nujum. My Sahaba are like stars. Bi'ayyim iqtadaytum ihtadaytum. Whichever of the Sahabi you follow, you will be guided. Each Sahabi of the Prophet wasallam, the Prophet left this dunya, each Sahabi who became the greatest da'i of his era, of his time. And these Sahabi Kiram knew the benefits of passing away and dying in Madinah to Munawara. They knew the benefits of being buried at the feet of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But what made them leave Madinah to Munawara and go to Egypt, go to Turkey, go to Syria, go to Palestine, go to Yemen, go to Morocco, go to Tunisia, go all the way to India, not only India, there are Mazarat of the Sahaba in even China. Why did they leave Madinah to Munawara? It's because they had one great task. Yes, and that was to go out and carry on the mission of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, which was to go out and enlighten the world with the nur of Iman, with the nur of Islam. That was a greater task. If they wanted to, they could have stayed in Medina to Munawwara. But why is Uqba bin Amir radiallahu left Medina to Munawwara? He's buried in Egypt. Sayyidina Abu Dalda radiallahu, the greatest Sahabi, he left and he's, he's buried in Alexandria. Sayyidina Ayyub Ansari radiallahu ta'ala and left at the age of 80. To join the army of the Sahaba Tabi'in to conquer Istanbul. It was because in the heart there's one fikr, one zeal, one passion. How to go and spread the word of deen.